Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Doc Training web series. Today, I'll be covering up the section for managing access requests in SharePoint. So basically, the access request feature allows people to request access to the content that they do not currently have permission to see. And as a site owner, you can configure the feature to send you email when someone requests access to the site. You can then choose whether to approve or decline the request. And if you approve the request, you can also specify the specific level of permission you would like to assign to a user. Now, the access request feature also works together with the share command for sites. And if someone who is not a site owner for that site, which means someone who does not have full control for a site, uses the share command to invite other people to view a site, then that action will generate an access request from the site owner. The site owner can then approve or decline the request or specify the permission level to be assigned to the new user. And together, the share command and the access request feature simplifies the process of managing who has access to a site and site users have the opportunity to invite other people to collaborate on sites unless you disable this feature. While site owners have the ultimate authority over who has access to the sites and what level of permissions user has assigned. Okay, now next I'm going to show you how to enable or disable sharing by team members with non members. So, first you might want to decide whether members or your site groups, members of your site groups can invite. First, you might need to decide whether members of your site groups can invite non-members to access the site contents. You can either enable or disable this ability. Also, please note that disabling this option to allow sharing does not hide the share menu, but it does show an error message when a team member accepts to share. So let's go ahead and do this. So the first thing to do is hit on the gear button, go to site settings. and go to users and permissions and look for site permissions that's the second option click on that here you go so what you need to do is click on the permissions tab we can see above and hit on access request settings now here you'll have options in access request settings dialog box, you can either select or deselect. Allow members to share the site in individual files and folders. So if you want to share it, hit on the tick button. And the checkbox under this one, it says allow members to invite others to the site members group. And if it's a team site members, yes. Now here it says doc because doc is one of our product that sits on top of SharePoint. And the setting must be enabled to let members share the site, right? So you can, you know, probably select it or deselect it. For now, I'm just going to select it and click on OK. So this is how you can enable sharing by team members with non-members. Now, how do you set up access requests? Now, that's very important. Now, site owners can set up the access request feature so that it sends them an email when someone requests access to the site, right? So what you can do is, as you see here, it says, this is the third option, it says allow access request. It sends all the requests for access to the following email address. So what do you need to do is just type an email address. And what happens next is it sends up the access request to this particular email address. All right. The next is approving or declining access request for a site. So to do this, go to settings, go to site settings again, and look for access requests and invitations. Now, as you see here, there are two, uh, two sections. It says pending requests and external user invitations. Now, if, if you're receiving it, if there is any pending request, it's, it's going to show up over here, the person's name, the request for which site, a request on which date, and if it's approved or declined, right? And what you need to do is you hit on the ellipsis button and you can access the menu. And then under the permissions, you can set up the permission level that you you like to assign it to the user. And then you can approve the request. If you want to disapprove it, you can do that. So approve or decline. Otherwise, it's going to work, right? Now, 
how do you manage invitations to external users? Now, this is one key feature that every organization is looking at, especially for the retail organizations now when they want to give an access to their vendors, right? Especially the third party vendors. This is one key area which they would like to explore, especially, you know, they don't want to give out an Office 365 license. So what they can do is they can give them a temporary access to access their SharePoint intranet portal. So if you're a Microsoft Office 365 customer using SharePoint Online, as I mentioned, let me let me spe specify that again. It's SharePoint Online. This does not work on SharePoint Server instance, right? So if you have a SharePoint Online instance, then you'll be able to use the access request page to manage guest user invitations that has been issued to people who doesn't have licenses for your Office 365 subscription. So these people are gonna stay on the second section, as you see here, the external user invitations. The pending request is for the users, which is within this current SharePoint instance, right? And you can also withdraw invitations, as I mentioned, right? Especially for the guest invitations, you can also withdraw invitations as well so that's it for today's video i hope you you enjoyed watching this video and you got a pretty good good idea about managing access requests um, stay tuned for more sharepoint related videos and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much and have a great day